Hello, and welcome to the Lotus Council. So what I got here is a set booster. I need to grab my tool here to open it, though, because it seems to be very well sealed. Man, thicker plastic. Really thick plastic. Anyway, so open the set booster. If you've been watching, we've been opening some other things. It's pre-release weekend. I will go ahead and price these. Prices are going to change. It, it's just where it's at. So, I'm a big fan of set boosters. I really like what they mean. It's more rares and mythics per box. It is a little bit more per box. But, overall, I, I, I think that the benefits outweigh any of the downsides. So I'll set these off to the side and just open these and chit-chat. So art card, island, I think this is one of the ways that you can actually get basic lands. Okay, Ooh, a lot of uncommons. So this one, let's go ahead and put that there. Foil. So Aether Helix, Golden Ratio, Quandrix Apprentice, Quandrix Cultivator, Emergent Sequence, Okay, I got Bel Beldros Witherbloom and a Cultivate with a Rip Apart Foil. And that I need to put Mr. Witherbloom here, or Mrs. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the gender. So, the Wilderbloom, Witherbloom into its own little sleeve there. That's one I wanted to pull. I hope I pull another so I can build the deck with it. Okay, another basic land. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of the few ways that you can get the basic lands. Okay, so return Pars Collar, Professor Symbology, manifest Manifestation Sage, Harmonize, and Royal Village Rites. It's a mini game. All right, all right, we're, we're, getting, we're doing pretty good here. Um, I don't know that the Village Rites worth anything. It's not like it's a foil demonic tutor or chaos warp or anything, which would be super cool if it were. Biomathematician. You know, I may make a Quandrix deck just for the math jokes. Just so I can make math jokes in the pod. Mm. So we got to humiliate, a silver quill command, opt, and a Blood Researcher Foil. So yeah, with set boosters, I like more rares. I like more mythics per pack. Not as many commons and uncommons. So Laureate, Thundersaur Raider, Killian, Tempted by the Org, Flamecaller, and Eliminate. So two rares in that pack. A Star Pupil. And then the list cards are just a nice added bonus. Speaking of which, okay, Deadly Brew, Efreet Face Painter, ooh, Day of Judgment, I have not seen this one. Silver Quill Prentice, and Fractured Power Stone. Not too shabby for the list. I mean, it's a two drop for one, so it's that 50% rule. And then the planar die doesn't really matter unless you're playing plain, planar chaos commander, which would be so cool. Not planar chaos, um, plane chase. Wow. Tired. Kelpie guide, Prismari command, gift of estates, and a reckless amplomancer. So my piles are all over the place just to make it that much more interesting for me. Okay, then we've got a Sedgemore Witch, another Day of Judgment, and a Dragon Witch. So, don't really care as much about the foils as much as the more rares and mythics, because that way, if you're collecting a set and you're opening and you're wanting to crack to get the set because 
You're old school. Ooh, we got a lore mage, a torrent sculptor, sculptor, whirlwind denial, a professor of symbology, and then a waste. That's a pretty good hit actually for a list card. I think it's around three or four bucks. Anyway, as I was saying, old school it used to be that we would crack the packs to collect the sets. I started playing a few years ago, or just a couple years ago. To give you an idea, I was mowing lawns and I saved up and mowed extra lawns and did an extra week and bought a pack of the dark. So mowing lawns, I was able to buy a pack of the dark. That should give you an idea of how long ago I started playing. And I opened a Goblin Wizard, and I was happy because I loved playing goblins. Did not expect that that spike, though. I really wish I had sleeved that, but this was also pre-sleeve, which helps date me. Ah, man. Okay, we've got a Blade Historian. We've got a Claim the Firstborn, a Twin Scroll Shaman, and another one of them Play Arena Please cards. Yeah, back in the day, it was seen as, you know, the more beat up your cards were, the more you played, meaning you were more of a thread. We didn't take care of our cards. I mean, my deck box was a rubber band around the deck, and I tossed it into my backpack. <laughs> oh, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Ooh, Frost Royal Snarl. Village rights and a foil cultivate might actually be worth sleeving up. Because even though it's a common, it is a cultivate. So it gets played heavily in commander and it is a foil. And it doesn't appear to be bending at all. Kudos for you, wizards. Finally fixed a problem. Now you just got the other 99 problems to fix. <laughs> Ooh, signed art card. For a Killian. Very sweet. No oh, someone that might be interested. Ooh, a lesson. That's right, the lessons are the beginning and they can be rare. Zimone, just absolutely cool. I may do a Quandrix deck based around Zimone with all the math and all the math jokes. I'm gonna put Zimone over. Where? Ah, no. Okay, Decisive Denial. Prismari Command, and a Grape Shot with Wither Bloom Command. Ooh, and a Fodder Cannon. So, Foil Rare. Still only one Mythic, though. That's kind of weird. Normally I have a couple Mythics by this point. I love Dina. So, Leon and Light Scribe. Oh, there we go. A Mila. A Putrefy. I love Putrefy. Eureka Moment, and please buy Secret Layers. I don't think I will. Man, I'm at first I kind of liked the idea of the secret layer, but then they just pounded them out, too many of them, and they're just low quality. So we got an Arch Emeritus, Throw Possibility, Honor Troll, and an Ophelia Academy. They just, I mean, I bought the Prime Slime one, I was excited about it because you know, slime, it was non foil and it started to curl. Non-foil cards curling. Just absolutely terrible, terrible quality control. Dreamstrix, Inquisition of Kozilek, and a Silver Quill Campus Foil. So, not exactly my favorite product, you know. Just does not even come close, so... Yeah, I'll price this set, but I mean, prices are going to jump around. They're going to go down. They're going to go up for some. The gate, eager first year. Sorry, I didn't say my rares there. So I got a gnarled professor and an augmenter pugilist. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Man, the academic jokes in this set are pretty funny. Okay, we got an Ecological Appreciation. Harmonize. I love these this artwork. I know I've said it before, but this is hand-painted. This isn't like a vector art or Photoshop or anything like that. 
Not that there's anything wrong with doing that kind of art, but getting the realistic skin tones and the realistic, it looks like a picture with like physical paints is just mind blowing as far as skill goes. So first I was eh on the Faithless Looting and the Harmonize, but finding that out, I'm like, I'm sold. I'm ripping the best summoning, I love that. Okay, so we got a Blade Historian, Dean of Perfection, a Lightning Bolt, and a Pillar Drop Warden. So yeah, finding out that those are actually hand-drawn and hand-painted, it's really high quality. It's not low quality. I don't know what people are talking about. Being able to do that on can ooh, another signed art card. So this is going to be the Storm Kiln Artist. Being able to ooh, illuminate history. See what I mean by rares? I got a big stack of rares here and a lot of cards to go through still. Another Beldros! I wanted another Beldros. I said that at the beginning. We got a non-foil cultivate and a foil flame scroll celebrant. I said I wanted a Beldros because I wanted to build a Beldros. Wanted to play with it. And I just put it in my set. So I've got a Beldros. Duplicate. In the same box. Really weird. Really, really weird. But it's cool. Anyway, getting back to the discussion. Just the amount of, of talent that takes. I mean, I can't believe how negative players are in this game. Ooh, Necroblossom Snarl. Ventress Impulse and Show of Confidence. It just seems that sometimes the players in the game are just so negative about things and just will complain about the silliest things and get upset and make huge fusses. It's just not needed. Lean in Light Scribe, Strategic Planning, Essence Infusion, and a Willow Dryad. Forest Walk, one, one, one drop. Not too bad back when that was a good creature. That was like, oh, you've got a great creature there. Ooh, this is Shadewing Gloria. Love that art. So Harness Infinity, Gift of Estates, and a Foil Wither Bloom Canvas. So we're doing pretty good on the Mythics now. We're catching up. Yeah, it used to be back in the day, Sanger Vampire, um, Shivan Dragon, ooh, basic Conjuration. Those were like the height of creatures. You got one of those out and you were winning. Baleful Mastery, Duress, and a Thunderous Orator. It's not like today where there's creatures plenty, you can get all sorts of cool creatures and whatnot. Ooh, look at this art. Dragon's Guard Elite. I mean, look at the art on this. I love that. Best summoning. It's a common and it has fantastic art. Okay, Ingenious Mastery, another Lightning Bolt, Stonebound Mentor, and a Peril. Well, Evolution. Well, I think think this is a hit you know it's not like that card jumped up in price or anything for like the regular printing and it doesn't totally get abused in token decks I you know what I need to sleeve sleevey 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 sorry you're looking at my banged up thumbs just doing stuff in the greenhouse this week and my thumbs got a little bit banged up Foil Island. Just realized that as I'm watching myself. Ooh, a Titan. A Chalet Dean of Radiance, Divine Gambit, and a Cogwork Archivist. So, like I said, I'll price this box. I mean, the list cards are going to be... They're, they're going to hold pretty steady, I think, because the list just does not print enough of these to make the prices drop in any significant way. Which is kind of nice. Ooh, second Titan. And God's Willing, Introduction to Annihilation with a Blightsicle. Not a spicy one, but it's a great equipment. So the, the creature gets plus one, plus zero. And Wither! 
wither, wither, wither. There is our Zimone, gorgeous art. And, ooh, we got a Sagemore Witch, Whirlwind Denial, Elemental Summoning Foil. Just about out of, out of packs. I am running out of things to talk about. It's been a long week. Ooh, is this one of the mystical? Yeah, so they have some of the mystical archive cards. As art cards. That's sweet. I did not know that. So we got a Cody and an Eliminate from the Forbidden Foil and that. So three more packs. We're just about through this box. Hopefully this has been an enjoyable video for you and you've enjoyed my rambling about weird stuff. Not, I'm sorry, I'm still gonna ramble about weird stuff. So, Tempted by the Org, Org Lore Mage, Negate, and Letter of Acceptance. Well, kinda cool. That's like the one thing that's very Harry Potter about this set. Talked about this in another video, the Harry Potter versus Owl House. I really like Owl House. It is a great TV show, so, Plarg, Dean of Chaos. It is very much affirming and, you know, my kids absolutely love it. I actually enjoy it. So not terrible show to watch, but it's all about like School of Magic and this girl going there and trying to learn magic because humans can't do magic. They don't have the magic ability, but she figures out a way to do it anyway. Very cool. So we got a lore hold command, a brainstorm, inkling summoning, Excuse me while I get a sleeve. So we got a Lily. Lily. Liliana the Last Hope. I haven't seen Professor Onyx yet. That's one I'm hoping to get. But not a bad pull. Not a bad pull. I'm not going to complain. That's a pretty good hit. Okay. So we got Prismari Command. We got a Snakeskin Bell. And then a Mana Tithe. With that. So, well, that's the end of the box. I, I think we did pretty good here. I mean, we got two foil art mystical archives. We've got five mythics. I'm going to repeat, but I'm not going to complain about the myth mythical repeat. What we got here, we did get one mythic on the list. Super spicy hit. Waste, which is decent. Power stone. And we got a fistful of rares with, I think, two other reveal lands, so let me just look real quick. So the Snarl and other Snarl. So thank you all for joining us today. Hopefully this has been an enjoyable video for you. If you are on the lookout for cards, please go check out our sponsor over at Geekified. You can find them at geekified.us. Sealed, singles, geeky needs. You can get everything you, you basically want there. And if he if Andrew doesn't have what you want, let him know and he'll he'll go ahead and try and get it for you. So again, thank you for coming. If you want to know when we're meeting next, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and join us in our Discord, which you should be doing anyway. Because we do all sorts of fun stuff in there. We've got giveaways. We also will play games with our members for miscast EDH one of our uh, stream series that we do for uh, deck play. We also, there's just regular games if you don't want to be on stream. There, there's a lot there. So pretty much a little bit of everything for, for everyone. So go ahead and join us there. And we'll see you next time. So thank you all for coming today. And the meeting is now adjourned. We hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.